Good morning, everyone. I am Harshal Kalanka from Cleantech Soda. We are primarily into CLI sector solutions. It includes on site as well as on site solutions. I will try to concentrate more on this sector because that's where our expertise lies. So, uh, first of all, yes, I want to thank the DISCOM uh, as well as the data gentlemen here to really be present here and support us with whatever their thoughts and future plans are. Uh, we appreciate the single window process which was created by MEDA, which helped us make the MEDA uh, approval process much easier than what it was maybe some kind of But similar support we are expecting from the grid side also when it comes to project commissioning approvals, which effectively takes maybe three times the time which is required or expected to be required in any case of once the project is completed, wants to be commissioned. So if the Team can look at that and be really helpful. But other than that, yes, Maharashtra is one of the states which was first ones when it came to supporting open access, had a clear policy for open access per se. And uh, it was not in any ways trying to stop open access at that time. We understand with the growth of uh, renewable energy, the stability of the grid and the challenges faced by this form itself in terms of the revenue they earn and the uh, managing of the other challenges of uh, subsidy, etc. are increasing. But the way to go forward is not by dis uh, discouraging industries uh, to go into open access and try to find a cheaper solution, but find ways in which these problems, especially technical. So I agree with you think here that hybrid solutions, RTC solutions can work in terms of solving these technical aspects also, where you are able to get more stable grid. So maybe Looking at states like Gujarat, uh, we can come up with a hybrid policy quicker, which can help us provide a more stable source of power. You can also maybe incentivize uh, developers to generate more stable power by giving them some discounts in terms of transmission charges and feeding charges. If, if at a 15 minute level you want a developer to provide you more stable power, please incentivize it. That's, that's the way which, in which you can make the industry support you technically as well as go for a cheaper model. Uh, larger open access, yeah, so I will also help the customer in Maharashtra, which is primarily restricted by the amount of open access they can take connected with their contract in Maharashtra today. So <coughs> I will put uh, policy with them to reach more in, uh, percentage of renewable power they can consume. Uh, in terms of how we can achieve, so we all of us agree that Maharashtra is lacking in terms of the renewable power being generated in Maharashtra. Yes. I think one of the solutions which I can suggest and is up to all the key to think and consider and take forward is uh, the green corridor can be expanded more and like some of the other states which are trying to promote are there, we can incentivize uh, developers to connect uh, export of power to CGU via a STU substation. <coughs> There are charges currently levied of transmitting <coughs> power from STU to CPU and then out of state. Now, if that support is provided by the DISCOM or by the uh, government, you would be promoting setting up of solar uh, renewable energy in the state and the power going out of the state, which has always been the uh, uh, strong point of Maharashtra, where they have always been the center of manufacturing which supports the country at an overall level. So why not do the same thing for power? We have seen states do that across the country. So it could solve the problem of not having enough CPU substations and help us generate more uh, energy renewable power in the state itself. Uh, and then there are of course a lot of other policies related to how you allow customers like uh, allowing less than one megawatt customers. But of course there are related challenges, how the adopting will happen. I would say Maharashtra is very advanced when it comes to the energy account system, we have a 15 minute matching system when we look at any customer, the generation and consumption is at 15 minute level, which not many states can claim they are doing that. So yeah, why not utilize that and come up with policy which support us in these ways. I think that's more or less what I would like to suggest. Yeah, thank you. So friends, uh, when wind and solar uh, started, uh, they, like a corollary uh, just mentioned, 
we have a specialist and made our like uh, red and the wind or solar like child making uh, made our like mother taking care and care of the child and uh, especially said like father want to have discipline the great discipline and the generation discipline so initially when the kid was very small they were all taking care and everybody supporting it. now the kid has grown up the kid has grown up for more than uh, mature level and the solar is now in teenage or twenty and so so you know a maintenance kid, how uh, must he do, how uh, problems he creates in the family. So uh, as long as he was teenager, he was supporting it. Uh, we have that forecasting and central mechanism because the kid uh, also getting affected with the more and more penetration happening in the field. So uh, we have to also understand from the kid point of view and beta point of view that the moment uh, uh, it has grown up to certain level, like the child has grown up to say 18, 19 years old, now he is bringing various friends. He want to have happy, he want to have uh, uh, RTC, he want to have uh, uh, storage and other things. So all the uh, uh, side products are also like we have given solar and wind for there, but now we have happy, wind solar together, wind solar happy together, we have bomb storage and something like that. So on the green side, uh, it is slightly difficult the uh, SNC and uh, MSTC and MSTC for that matter. The penetration because it's a musical power. So we want to have forecasting, but that one uh, point I think uh, India or Maharashtra is like very much on uh, the forecasting of weather. Even today we are talking about uh, so climate change is a bigger issue. But even in April May we are talking about rains. Uh, maybe tomorrow day after this rain, Pune or so. So getting the forecasting accuracy and then. Forecasting of generation from solar and wind, and then having the grid uh, supporting to that, and maybe ramping up and ramping down of uh, thermal power station. I think that's a very challenging for uh, Disco and uh, for Veda also to support the uh, uh, longer run. But then, sir, uh, just to conclude, uh, it was started very uh, the right note and positive note that uh, everybody on this uh, uh, panel is uh, looking for a positive change going forward. So just the last uh, quick round uh, uh, for the end the session uh, from MSCB sir, sir, suppose uh, a new developer, he want to talk to Maharashtra and he said, I want to have 100 megawatt of say, every plant in Maharashtra somewhere and he come to you as the internet the MSCB sir. So what would be uh, your advice to him, uh, how do we welcome him to Maharashtra? Basically, uh, we'll definitely uh, encourage the people who is the Maharashtra. I think this, uh, whatever this solar and the renewable energy from uh, the was done, the procedure will be followed. So, it will be done at the head of this world though. Now, uh, onwards, we will uh, we'll update our set and we will be available, made available on the farms and the uh, online. Uh, the links that are available to the uh, uh, network and we will be regarding uh, the location as well as the concern authority to which we are working. Suppose uh, anybody is going to some the side or the other side, we will definitely inform the concern uh, authority of the city and the town below to support the people in the uh, initial of the survey and the uh, line and the uh, 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 activities of the land of the city. But our network is up to the uh, 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 network. Is up to the, uh, uh, rural area of the village level. So, my team will definitely uh, ask them to support uh, this new uh, online and uh, from head office also will refer to from our office to the new So, this way we will definitely encourage this uh, new client uh, to return this 100 number of the power plant in the Maharashtra. Uh, whatever this uh, the concluding session uh, of this concluding uh, the speech. Uh, I would like to add some uh, my views basically regarding the cost of CPD and the direct mining and logistics. Uh, you know that the consumer in the other states, we have nearly 42 lakhs in the consumer and uh, with the demand in the about 55 percent of the total demand. And we are subsidizing them as a right is percent uh, holding the cost of this uh, supply to oil at 7.79 rupees. And we are giving the power to the eligible they want around 3.5 which uh, the consumer. So this is a very huge gap and that has to be adjusted from this 
similar way wind farms storage areas storage technologies pilot projects may be the solution Ingraji, come here, sir. Onliner, I am just trying to focus pool together for solutions. That is the thing. Thank you. Vijay, Menaji. We are very happy to see the positive outlook for both Vida and MSCC. And as a company, we are committed to making the success for renewables in Maharashtra longer. And we are those people. Anything? So on the perspective of renewable generation, already uh, uh, at the back end, Jayco uh, Discom has already taken the good decision to add the renewable energy, not to the thermal energy uh, uh, here after. So uh, first of all, I think focusing on the renewable uh, generation is most important, and uh, rather than because in the future uh, we are coming for the uh, uh, green hydrogen policy as told by Meda. Uh, but uh, for that we require green energy. So in the one hand we can say first resolve the solution at the ground uh, on the renewable perspective. So automatically uh, at the top end uh, at the, uh, we can resolve all the issues. So that is the uh, emotes on the Thank you, Nikhil uh, Thank you all the panelists. I think on that quality note, uh, everybody is excited that uh, there is no conflict. All stakeholders working together in synergy can have uh, a better state in the uh, uh, state of affairs in Maharashtra and we can contribute to uh, the national uh, cause of uh, 500 million by 2020. So, on that ground, thank you very much. Uh, over to Anna. Thank you very much, Prashanti, uh, and all the dignitaries on the dais. I'm sure we all agree that uh, this first session was very, very enlightening. And uh, highly insightful and I think all the key points related to policy, regulation, markets, opportunities, challenges was touched upon. Uh, once again, a big round of applause. Uh, thank you. So